Okay, well I got obsessed with uh, calibrating things in my lab, so uh, I bought one of these off the of eBay. They go for about $17. Um, I think it's just a screaming deal. It's this cute little box. Um, it actually has a lithium battery uh, inside, and you can recharge it. And uh, you plug in the charger. Uh, where is it? Here. There's a charging port here. It comes with a charging uh, a wall wart. And you plug it in and it charges the lithium battery. Then once the lithium battery is charged, then this thing will operate all, all on its own. And you can see here that it outputs 2.5 volts, 5 volts, 7.5, and, and 10 volts. Um, and yeah, maybe they're not accurate. Um, but this thing is very, very, very stable. Um, and so when I bought this, uh, it came with this little label on the back. And so the previous, or the, the seller, okay, zoom in a little bit, uh, the seller uh, measured this particular device with an Agilent um, 34401A. That's the, that's the meter that I have. Um, and uh, this is the date that he measured it at 21 degrees C, and these are the voltages that he got. Um, and um, they're 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 they were what they were at that point in time. Um, I went ahead and measured them with my uh, with my meter. So uh, here I measured a, a four nine nine four six. He measured four nine nine four four. So we're talking about, uh, let's see, that's a millivolt, tenths of millivolts, hundredths of millivolts. We're talking about two hundredths of a millivolt. Uh, not very much. Um, and so these are, the, these are the numbers that I got. And um, I'm not sure how calibrated his meter was. Um, I did measure it against my... Keith Lee and my Agilent, and they agreed within uh, the significant digit. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the data sheet for the chip that's used inside this thing. Uh, it is a AD584, and uh, it is a laser trimmed part. And it outputs multiple voltages. It outputs. Um, we'll see. We'll see later. Um, and what we're really interested in is how accurate is it. Like I said, it's very stable. Uh, these are the K versions. Um, so it basically can output uh, 10 volts, seven and a half, five and two and a half. That's what we saw uh, on the little box. And it's good to plus and minus 10 millivolts. Um, that's not as good as the other ones, right? The other ones were like plus and minus three, plus and minus two for really good ones and stuff. So this isn't as good as an absolute um, device. Um, it's not bad, <laughs> um, but it does have very low uh, drift, uh, five, uh, 15 ppm per degree C. Um, it's an okay part. I wouldn't say it's a great part. It's an okay part. Uh, but it is kind of, it is kind of clever um, in that, let's see, let's zoom down a bit. It, uh, internally, it has a resistive divider. Um, so, uh, its native uh, voltage inside is uh, 1.215. Uh, that's the reference that's in it. And then it amplifies that to exactly 10 volts, laser trimmed. And then they have a dividing string here, so you get uh, a 10 volt, a 5 volt, and a 2.5 volt. So if you take 10 out, if you take 5 out, you can take 5 plus 2.5, that gives you the 7.5, or you can take the 2.5 the out. So uh, that's how it works. Uh, I guess there's the, um, the internals to it. But... Uh, Let's show you how this thing operates. Um, the uh, little clear box has a little cutout here, and you press, press right here, 
then one of the LEDs will light up. And there's silk screen here that says uh, two and a half. If you press it again, it goes to five. Press it again, it goes to seven and a half. Press it again, it goes to ten. And then it cycles back around. Okay, so let's uh, let's hook this up to the volt to my voltmeter, and I'll cycle cycle through it. All right, let's get some leads here. Um, it's on the two and a half volt setting right now, and we get two point four nine nine four three. And if I read the back of the box, the voltage that uh, he uh, wrote down was uh, 49944. So we're uh, one digit away from the value that he read. Um, so <laughs> very nice. In fact, there's the 44 flashing there. So that's exactly the value that he had. So let's go to the next. Um, we're getting 499910. And on the back of the box, he had 99909. Uh, once again, one count away. Um, four nine, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 7.49617. 49617. So we're a bit farther off here. He's saying 17, I'm saying 22. Two. Um, and one farther, uh, 99532, he had 99528, so a little farther out too. Uh, but uh, I'm going to now read the numbers on the front of my box. Um, where are we here? So uh, these are the values that I believed that was more accurate when I received the box. So let's let's try those out and see how they now compare. Okay. Um, I had four nine nine four six, and we're at four four, so we're two out. I had nine 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 zero nine, so we're one or two out. I had. 49618, uh, we're at 22, two. and I had 99526, 99532. Now, um, it is 79, almost 80 degrees in the garage today. It's a very, very hot day here today. So I'm imagining that well, probably what we're seeing is temperature drift. Um, so I imagine if I go back and measure these uh, more at, say, 73 uh, degrees, um, more of a 25C uh, type reading, uh, these, these voltages will be even more accurate. But it's a cute little box. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's, it's well worth the money, I believe. Uh, you can take it with you because it's self-powered. Um, it's very nicely constructed. It's good quality. Uh, battery seems to last a long time. Uh, if you just hold down, uh, it turns itself off. Um, I'm not sure if it has a timeout feature or not. Um, uh, nice banana jacks on it. Uh, and it comes completely assembled. Uh, so, yeah. Very, very recommended.